breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. INEC, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has responded to media reports that suggest its credibility has decreased as a result of election petition, too many petitions against it. As Nigerians ask that INEC's chairman should be suspended and investigated, instead, he's still conducting election. INEC has now cried out trying to explain what is going on, expecting Nigerians to understand. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has responded to a recent report by the Guardian newspaper that says INEC credibility is dwindling as 94% of contested posts await trial. INEC issued a press statement released on Thursday morning to set the record straight. According to INEC, the report contains inaccurate figures mixed up pre-election and post-election cases, has a sketchy, comprehensive, and a headline that suggests that election petition drawn from the action or inaction of INEC. INEC clarified that in the 2023 election, 1,280 constituencies, including 782 state assembly seats, did not have election conducted, while elections were conducted in 1,491 constituencies across the country. Additionally, INEC stated that it has that it is not responsible for intra-party cases arising from the conduct of primary elections by political parties. The body said these are intra-party cases involving party members in which they join the commission and seek for relief, binding on them. The commission noted that many Nigerians file election petition over the most improbable cases and later withdraw them, or they are dismissed by the tribunal. The commission revealed that out of 100, out of 1,196 petitions filed so far, seven, 712 were dismissed and 179 withdrawn. This means that 891 cases, which is just 74%, are the cases that go to the tribunal as against the 94%. They have no merit and they cannot say that. INEC also stated that analysis from the total number of petitions as if they were filed against the outcome of the election in 94% of the election positive is, met, is problematic for someone to say and put on Nigerians. The commission clarified that INEC chairman Yakub is doing his best, his hardest best possible to ensure that he gives his best to Nigeria by making sure the elections are done properly. If people go to court, it's because they just want to go to court and ventilate themselves. It's not an INEC fault. And Nigerians should please gain trust again, regain their trust in the election body, knowing that we are doing our best. And Yakub is doing what he can to make Nigeria a better place so everyone can trust the system. Is that what you have to say, Mr. Yakub? Is that what you really have to say? That's all you have to say, really. That Nigeria, I mean, you think they should just trust you just like that. Really? Eh. Have you not seen what is going on in other countries? There is the two riots going on, saying that there was rigged, election was rigged. Why Nigeria, this same Yakub is preparing to conduct another election. And everybody is quiet and watching him, you know, destroy the very essence of what makes us a people. The democracy we so say we have, which Yakub is taking from us. Do we have democracy in this country at all? He's trying to say that, you know, there is not seven, it's not a 94%, it's 74%. Is that a pass mark? An election you conducted that people cannot see transparency. Hence they, ha hence, they have to seek courts in order for them to get clarity. And you dare open your mouth to say that uh, it's not a uh, it's not a hundred percent it's not ninety four percent it's just seventy four percent and some of them were dismissed and some people just want to go to court is that if this election is conducted in such a way that everybody can see that ah uh, guy you know we know will you not be stupid and foolish for such an end you know you know for to go to court you think it's free it's not money is involved you pay 
If you don't pay, everybody will go to court. So you think the people have no other mission statement, no nothing else. All they want to do is go to court. Excuse me. People are not that jobless. Okay? It's not that deep. People are not that jobless. So what you are trying to say to Nigerians is that uh, it's 74% that went to court. And out of the 74 uh, it's not everybody that did not get their case sorted. Uh, uh, we, should, we should be careful how we mend words, saying that INEC has not done well for the people. Have you done well? If you have, you should not be afraid when people say that you did not do well. If you have done well, people should not be going to court. Every corner, INEC people going to court. What do you do? What do you do? Where we say you not do well? Whenever they suspect you, they go court. Now, the matter where we they talk be that, I be you not know. This is it. This is it. So, every single person needs to wake up. Every single person needs to ensure that we ride on the winds of truth and we do not, you know, keep quiet to allow INEC and their cohorts to destroy the very essence of what makes us a nation and a people and bring Nigeria to where it needs to be. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. And so every one of us must continue to speak out and end everything and anything that is not right to make us move forward as a nation, to make us enjoy the dividends of democracy. If they say there is democracy, where is the democracy? We want to see the democracy. We want to enjoy the democracy. Abi, you no one know what the democracy be? It's 50 plus 1. Eh? Eh, 49 on the other side, 51 on the other side is what we call democracy. You know, so these are some of the things that have happened and every single person needs to understand it. Okay, that indeed we all need to rise up and do not allow the same thing. Yes, it is what it is. It is what it is. So please, my lovely, wonderful people, don't forget that we all have a voice and we all must speak and end every unnecessary thing that is going on, every happening that will not move us forward as a nation and as a people, we must speak against it. And we must ensure that the right things are done. Nigeria belongs to us. All that is going on now are clear indications of the people who wants to steal that from us at all costs. So let's do what is right. Yes, God bless. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.